Welcome back to Decorating with Kelly. Today we are going to talk about how to pick paint colors. And I'm not talking whites or neutrals, but actual colors. Did you know that many paint companies have curated color palettes based on different design styles? Well, they have, and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite colors. In addition, I will also show you some tried and true colors that are designer approved. At the end of the video, I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to choose colors and show you the actual process that I went through in choosing colors for my powder room, along with some other tips when you're choosing colors. So without further ado, let's get started. A timeless paint color that will never go out of style is Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore. This selection might shock some, but it really is a neutral color that is used quite frequently. I love to see it applied on walls, trim, doors, cabinets, you name it. It's dark without being black. Its versatility allows it to coordinate with both warm and cool schemes. Benjamin Moore Hail Navy is a beautiful dark navy blue. It's great to use as a punch of color on cabinets to make a bold statement. Benjamin Moore's Beach Glass is a favorite blue-green paint color that instantly makes you think of the beach. The serene color makes it perfect for any space, including the kitchen, making it a go-to paint color that is here to stay. For the statement makers, Ferrell and Ball's Green Smoke is the perfect shade of green that feels timeless yet interesting, making it a regular go-to color for the client that wants to take a risk. It allows you to be intentional with impactful color without your room feeling too bold or overwhelming. If you're going for a dramatic look, Ferrell and Ball's Hague Blue is for you. It's a dynamic color looking equally vibrant or subdued based on the lighting of the space and the accompanying furnishings. This show-stopping bathroom has Kelly Moore's zinc dust on the walls. This dark and moody gray was chosen as a wonderful backdrop for the patterns in the wallpaper and the floor. It helps to create a luxurious feeling in the bathroom. This next soulful shade is Ferrell and Ball's Ball Green. What makes this earthy shade stand out? It's a subtle hint of silver and a nod to history, which makes it uniquely special. This is a moody gray green and I love it because it instantly adds so much depth and a sense of age to the space. Little Boy Blue by Sherwin Williams is great for both trim and walls. It coordinates perfectly with this bathroom's woodsy wallpaper. Little Boy Blue was selected for this space to create a peaceful and ethereal yet polished master retreat. When selecting a light blue, lean toward a gray undertone to make certain it reads sophisticated rather than too precious. If you're thinking pink, Pharaoh and Ball's Pink Ground is a soothing shade of blush. It's not too bright, but is soft and works in a range of rooms, bedrooms, living rooms, and bathrooms. I love that it's a soothing and more grown up pink, but can be easily beautiful in a nursery as well. Rich without being showy, is Bear's Dark Crimson. It looks powerful on any wall, but could also be a dramatic choice in a dining room or office space. As the light within a room changes, the color does too, evolving into a deep wine colored shade. It's an interior color that defies trends and will always be appealing. An eclectic interior design style is the perfect way to combine elements from your favorite designs. Play with the cottage-like charm of vintage style by using contrasting colors on lower and upper cabinets. Amazon Green, seen here on the bottom cabinets, provides a beautiful base for kitchen cabinets of white ice. Backsplash in morning sky blue lightens the room for cooking, entertaining, and enjoying your morning cup of tea. Gentleman's Gray, from their vintage palette, is also a great choice for cabinets. When dressing up a vintage room, consider an art wall. The right arrangement of frames and a bold paint color can turn any space into an elegant salon. 
Here, an ornate mirror and collection of vintage wall art pair beautifully with a wall painted in delicate rose. Maximalist interior design is the epitome of more is more. From lively bold colors to playful layered patterns, maximalism is rooted in personality. This bedroom's aquamarine Naples blue pairs beautifully with deep gentleman's gray. The uncluttered decor keeps the room sleek and simple, while a graphic comforter brings on maximalist vibes. If you love a sleek monochromatic look, use it to create stunning maximalist style. In this vivacious maximalist living room, a homeowner uses two different shades of vibrant green. Maximalism is steeped in personality. It's about finding your own personal design style and amplifying it. These beautiful red walls, layered twall patterns, a funky armchair, and a variety of personal treasures make this a haven of maximalist style. If you want to go big with color while keeping things livable and composed, dark neutrals offer a stable, striking solution. Warm colors, natural materials, and soft sculptural lines are synonymous with mid-century modern interiors. Cultivated by a range of designers and artists between the 30s and mid-60s, today, mid-century modern design remains as powerful and relevant as ever. Mid-century modern design juxtaposes organic and neutral elements with crisp, linear, and curated color, like this warm caliente red. Earthy hues, like woodstock tan, and linear teak furnishings are a trademark of mid-century modern style. A moody take on Hollywood Regency, dark glamour is defined as an enchanting design style that mixes dark colors, deep jewel tones, and dusky neutrals with velvety textiles, statement-making chandeliers, and mirror-like metallics. The dining room is an excellent place for high-impact paint colors with a shimmering Newburyport blue. When it comes to dark glamour, deeper colors in large, well-lit places increase the coziness. Whether wrapped in a dramatic dressing gown or in your favorite sweats, soot adds an instant dose of luxe to your bedroom. Try using a deeply saturated hue against a vivid color for a striking color pairing. Introduced at the turn of the 20th century, craftsman style provided a stark contrast to the Victoria area opulence of the industrial age. Influenced by the simple beauty of nature and a focus on handcrafted high quality, craftsman style evokes a classic character that endures today. This timeless craftsman color palette continues in the tradition of this iconic style with sage, russet brown, grayish, two off-white hues, and an alluring blue-green. Earthy, warm, and muted, these effortless hues breathe the spirit of craftsman style into any home. The Art Deco interior design style is inspired by the 1920s, making it a great choice for those who want to add a touch of vintage charm to their home. The best way to achieve an Art Deco interior design style is by incorporating bold colors and geometric shapes into your design elements. The wall paint color schemes in any Art Deco interior design style commonly feature bold colors such as blue, green, and red. Eye-catching high contrast always comes with a classic combination of black and white. Roaring 20s decadence means gold, steel, metallics, and other high shine design elements. As varied as American history itself, these diverse palettes from Sherwin-Williams are a patchwork of classical elegance and rustic simplicity. Explore these timeless, historically authentic interior paint colors. Link in the show notes. Once you have decided the general direction you want to go in regards to paint color for a certain project, Go to your local paint store and pick out about a dozen or so paint chips. Now make sure to kind of to vary the colors. Go a little bit darker, go a little bit lighter. 
a little bit more blue, a little bit more yellow in the tone. Here's the inspiration picture for my powder room. So I took the picture along with me to Sherwin-Williams so that I could try to match the picture color the best I could. And here are the paint samples that I returned home with. And what I did is I put them on the wall just like this on a white piece of paper so that the color would read true. And then I lived with it a while before I finally decided on which color I wanted to use. Here is a video and picture of the final product. And I absolutely love the green. But as you can see, it really amplified the color in here. But it's a nice, deep, rich green and absolutely perfect. And so can you tell which color that I picked out of the samples I showed? Well, here you go. The color that I chose is Vogue Green. And as you can see, it's the more muted color out of the samples that I have. But the color on the walls was quite vibrant and rich, and so I'm very happy with it. And now we'll end with a little fun with feng shui and door colors. The classic feng shui color is red and confers power, protection, luck, and a sense of royalty to the house and its occupants. A great choice for your home's energy. Green is a symbol of life, health, and money, and black on the front door also symbolizes money.